good morning guys. We're on the bait patch right now. Got my fiance Stephanie with me today. It's just us two. She's behind the camera. Right now we're on the bait patch and we're just gonna load up these live wells with Ballyhoo. You know, last video we did bottom fishing. The video before that, we did bottom fishing as well. And that just seems to be what's working this time of year. You know, this time a lot changes. You know, the water gets cooler, it gets a lot windier, and you kind of have to go out there bringing absolutely everything. We have so many different types of rods on the boat right now for all different kinds of fishing. And we're kind of just going with the flow, figuring out what's working, what's not. And we're just gonna do that same exact thing today. We're gonna get Ballyhoo and um, we're just gonna start heading out there and we're just gonna see what's biting, see what we can catch. That's what it's all about, just being out here, having fun. I'm glad you guys are here with us. So if you notice, I'm going back and forth because when the boat's on the anchor, it swings to the left and to the right. Basically, I'm just trying to compensate by doing the same exact thing. Here we go. Not a bad first pull. Got about half a dozen or so. In you guys go. Nice. We're gonna do a couple more pulls here. And then we will head out, do some fishing. Fish on, baby. So we got a spread out right now. We got two flat lines, two bottom rods. Just drifting on this the edge. This is fighting like a goop, grouper. Gooper. Grouper? A, a gooper. <laughs> so Stephanie's got a new species on. It's called a gooper. It's called when you're cold <laughs> and there's a gooper on, you call it a gooper. <laughs> so cold you can't talk. Oh, here we go. It's right here. Wait. Yep, wait. Pull it. Yeah, I got you. I wonder what it is. It feels like a good fish. It's pulling. All right, real? Okay. Oh, no, mutton, it's baby. a mutton. Got a mutton. Oh, that's nice. a nice. That's a nice one. Hey, that's not bad, huh? Compared to all the other muttons we've this been catching. This is a baby. Yeah, I mean, that's a baby, but that is still actually a legal fish. Just to put it in perspective for you guys. But he's gonna go in the fish box. Oh, yeah. Hope you're ready to cook. I'm ready. We got dinner. Okay, so Clay is a master fisherman. <laughs> we just switched roles here. We did, and he just pulled the fish out of the rock. So yeah. now we've got it coming up. So what happens is, is when grouper get rocked up, if you just open your bale, you let them just sit there in that hole, you let them get comfortable, just give it about a minute or two and just put a lot of slack in the line so that way that fish doesn't feel anything. And then once you've given them about a minute or two, maybe even longer sometimes, just start cranking as hard as you can. And that's exactly what I just did. And we got this fish out and it's more than likely a grouper. I'm gonna try to get that weight, Stephanie. Just yep. put down the camera real quick. Let's right. see it. Oh it's my a god! Mutton. It's a mutton. It's a big mutton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! I could have swore that was a grouper. Uh, me too. Hey, nice. This was initially your fish, so two muttons for you today. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. I'll take that. It's not a grouper, but hey. That looks great. Next best thing. Here we go. Oh nice. yeah. Two muttons in the box. Oh yeah. Yep. 
Alrighty, I am on, and it looks like I caught a Another snapper. <laughs> Third mutton of the day. We're on fire today, huh? I know, right? That's sick. Definitely oh, yeah. gonna be giving some fish away to some family after today. Oh yeah. That's nice. Look at that baby right there. Nice oh, job. Yeah. You cold? A little bit. I'm warming <laughs> up with the fish coming to bite. It's warming me up, grilling them in. It is a cold day for us Floridians here. All right guys, so since we have a box full of muttons, we decided to go further offshore. We're in about 400 feet right now. We're doing some deep dropping. We have the electric reel here. And um, we just started on this drift. And I want to say we are getting some bites, but nothing big. I'm trying to decide if I should pull up on this or not. I don't know, what do you say? I say pull it up because if it was biting, it may not have a bait anymore. Uh -huh. That's what's so difficult sometimes is when you're fishing in 400 feet and you're using a stiff rod like this, it's hard to know if you're getting a bite, especially when the boat's rocking back and forth. But let's bring it up, see what we got. Hopefully it's a fish. We got a fish, baby. We did, what did we catch? <laughs> We got a yellow eye snapper, check oh, that out. yeah. Nice. So I've never caught a yellow eye snapper before, so this is a first. Another snapper species in the boat, check that out. So just like I said, that's called a yellow eye snapper. Definitely a beautiful fish. Check out all of that yellow on the top of their fins. Very cool, my first yellow eye snapper ever. Nice. Awesome. Let's do another drop. Ooh, this is something big. It's like digging. Go faster. How fast? Fast as you want. So we just did our second drop. Stephanie's on. This is the best kind of fishing, let me tell you. <laughs> Don't have to put in a workout. Definitely the laziest type. <laughs> Go ahead, faster. Something big. Feels like something big? Yeah. Well, hopefully it's a bigger yellow eye. So the yellow eye that I just caught was kind of on the smaller side. They gotta be 12 inches to keep. Hopefully Stephanie has a bigger one. Sure you don't want a hand crank? No, I'm good. <laughs> so we're just using a five pound weight. Typically oh, I like- there it is. Got it, there you go. Hand crank, there you go, there you go. Now swing the rod over to your right. Another yellow eye, look at that. Is yours a little bigger? Nice. So here's a tip guys, if you're ever out here deep dropping, What's nice about these weights being long and skinny like that, they go perfect right inside of a rod holder. Good job, girl. Oh yeah. Got another yellow eye, sick. Let's throw them in the box. Let's do it.
All right, guys, I'm really excited because we have a new species here on the show, a yellow eye snapper. We've never had yellow eye on Life by the Bow. And not only am I excited for the yellow eye, I'm excited for this fillet knife my brother-in-law Alex got me for Christmas. And um, it seems to be working really well right now. So Alex, if you're watching, I appreciate it. Dang, that was easy. <laughs> All right, so we have had yellow eye in the past. One thing I can say, it is very delicious. But this is the first time for you guys. Happy you guys are here to watch it. And boom. And look at that. That is beautiful. Got the sunset. Got some delicious yellow eye snapper. And I got a beautiful woman that's going to cook it up for us. Doesn't get any better than that. percent going in the video all righty guys so tonight we're gonna be making some fish tacos and we are going to be using a recipe that someone actually sent me through Instagram they're from Dubai and they tried this recipe out and they said it was delicious and Chloe here is trying to get some tacos for herself she wants to learn how to cook it the only thing that I am substituting is I'm using kale instead of of cabbage. Um, pretty much the same consistency, so I thought, why not? What this recipe calls for is some lime, pepper, onion, cilantro, um, some tomatoes, and now I'm gonna start with the fish. So the first thing you're gonna do with your fish is you're gonna season it with some taco seasoning. Um, there's a lot of good taco seasonings out there, so you can do with whatever brand you'd like. Alrighty, now that I've chopped all my vegetables, cut my lime, I am going to mix them all together. So I'm just gonna throw in my onions, tomatoes, peppers, put some lime in there, some salt, mix it all up, and then get ready with my sour cream. All right, so the last thing we have to do is cook the fish, which takes about two minutes per side, depending how thick your filet is, but ours isn't really thick, so it's gonna be sauteed for two minutes on each side. Now that we have everything prepared, we're just gonna set our taco up. So I just added my fish, my slaw, and my sour cream, so let's eat. So here we have it, our fish taco. So I just want to start off by saying like, I had a, an amazing time fishing with you, Clay. And um, it's been a really long time since just him and I have been able to go out there and kind of get back to where we started. Because when we first started this show, it was always Clay and I doing everything together. And, and then we brought Nick along and Nick made things so much easier. He did, he And did. I, I really figured that out today because it's been a little while since we <laughs> haven't had him. Yeah. But yeah. dang. But nonetheless, I think we still did a pretty good job. We did. Fishing we did. Yeah. and filming and everything. But How are those tacos? So good. It's yes. delicious. It is delicious and I highly recommend this. So we don't have a recipe that we're going to add to the description this time but just follow what we did. Pretty simple, and you're gonna enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So if you- I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I I'll hope- I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this show. It's not every day that someone has something nice to say, especially no in a world like what we live in today. So um, keep on sending those messages. Uh, we appreciate them so much, and we are blessed to have you guys, you know, 
no doubt. your support. So if you guys would like to drop a comment, let us know what you thought about this video. If you guys want to see something different, let us know, message us. And we hope you guys enjoyed the show. That's and we'll right. see you next time. That's right. Happy New Year. Hope you oh, guys yeah. are enjoying 2021 so far. It's going to be a great year. It um, is. We love you guys. We love this. We'll see you next time. Bye.